guys welcome to the insight for the 2022 porsche taycan i had this car in the shop so i thought i'd just show you around some of the very interesting cool features that porsche has come in especially from an inside perspective so let's do a quick walk around see uh what makes this so unique and so much better than uh, let's say a tesla or something on those lines first and foremost the build quality and finish is exceptionally good uh in you know typical porsche standard style very very nice steering wheel to hold exceptional use of materials all across very high quality material that's been used the red leather stitching and everything else over there really really makes the car look really premium you've got three displays you've got display one here you've got display one there and that's actually another display as well so you've got three set of displays and some of the most unique things that you've seen within is how porsche has managed to bring electric electrify this car while keeping some of its roots together so for example on any, like on any standard porsche you'll see that the start button is actually over here so like on the teslas where you get in with the car you start the car put it in gear and it drives on this one you actually have to come in press this button that's when the car comes to life now some of the things that really fascinate me on the inside is for example three of these gauges they're actually digital but it got a very nice touch to it that it looks analog with the spherical setup over there three of these gauges are actually controlled by the switch over here so for let's say if you want to change something so you can tap on this and you see it's illuminated the yellow thing you can click on that and then it will give you options as to what you want to display so you could look at assistance systems you could look at g4 for example and that entire screen changes let's say you want to move something else you can click on that and then you have options of you know putting that as a power and then this you have 37 percent battery left and you can change around all the different settings you can go from dri media drive mode sports chrono trip navigation etc etc so these are the, some very interesting cool features let's say for example you know go back you can see what's going on over here you can look at trip you can look at sports chrono so that basically pulls up the lap so this section is completely modifiable you can change it with the settings that's going on over here in terms of touch screen this is actually a very nice feature where all three of these things are actually touches. So, for example, if you want to switch off your turn off your headlights, you can just tap on that. Now the light, lights are on. If you want to leave them on auto, this comes on and you can accordingly go over there. Very nice tactile feel to it as well. And you can see the lamps going on and off. Standard Porsche fashion. You've got your cruise control systems over here. You've got your lights over here. And you've got everything else that's really, really well mounted. The only thing that this car really speaks of is quality. Drive selection mode over here with a nice display that comes on once you move things around over there. So you've got the Sport Plus, individual, all the different sections. So that gives you the feel of what's going on over there. Now, the most fascinating thing about this car, obviously, is stuff like the vents, for example. You can see that the blower vents, there is no way that you can actually move them around. There's no manual way to move the vents around to how you want them. The way you do that is actually, and this is something that's very interesting as well. So you've got one screen over here and you've got a screen over here and you've got a system over here that controls the screen on the top and very tactile fairly responsive not as good responsibility uh, not as good as responsive as the teslas but it's fairly nice so for example if you want to change something on there you can literally go there and you can see that with the motion of my hands things change over there so now let's say for example if you want to look at the you know drive modes you've got the assistance etc you can go back and you can look at where everything that's going on over there let's go to home and then i want you to see how the blower vents actually change so for example you got into the climate menu and then you can actually see how the blower is set. So far from now, it's set at diffused. You can go down to diffuse. You can go down to focused. Or you could go down to individual. So let's say you want the blower to be hitting you on your face directly. You can click on individual and then it will change. The best thing is you can actually click on the sections here. And then you can tell where you want to go down, go up. You want to go left. You want to go right. And it really works. So that's a very, very cool feature that's been introduced on the Porsche Taycan. This dial over here, quick access to your air conditioning. You've got your temperature, you can set your climate menu. You've got all the systems over there. This will tell you your charge capacity, what the charge capacity is. So now it's right now it's at 37% and you've got a range of 120 kilometers. If you want to see, if you want to move anything else from the car, you can click on this and then you can choose whichever ports you want to open, trunks you want to close, open, etc. All of that is controlled from over here. This is not very, very fast, but kind of like does does the job so you can always go back and this is touch screen as well so if you want to go for navigation directly you can click on this you've got the navigation there you've got your main menu over there your phone sports chrono everything that's all over here so really really nicely laid out and then you've got a nice chrono watch over here as well that gives you your typical porsche fashion your chrono stuff 
And then these are touch screens as well. So if you want to switch off your traction control, press on this, your traction control goes off. If you want to change your suspension systems, that goes on from here as well. So very well laid out and the gear, gear selector is right here. So it's got a real car-like-ish feeling. So you've got the park over here, you've got neutral, reverse and drive. Put it in drive, you've got to put your foot on the brake and you can just tap it down. You're in drive, the car's ready to go. So very nice feature and then you can put it back to park. Car goes back into park and your parking light comes off over there as well. And then exceptional build quality all across you can see the roof as well it's very very well loud really love the seats two different cup holders and they're actually illuminated in red so at night you have a very nice setup over here that you can actually see what the cup holders are and nice kind of theme ambience that goes around all of this entire area as well so you've got your Tekan badging over there so you know that you're driving on a Tekan. that is a screen as well which is optional so it's an optional upgrade that you can put on the car in case you want to have a screen over there uh, so that's something so you can actually use the, the passengers can actually click on this and then go through the same functions it's actually an exact imitation of this so you've got two screens over there that shows exactly what this is doing in terms of the look and feel all across you can see you've got very very good visibility so you can see everything all across very very clean lines so everything visibility isn't an issue rear view mirror is in your standard format so you've got the rear view mirror over there uh, everything else very very exceptionally well laid out the cool thing about the car actually that it offers is let's say for example if you lock the car the porsche badge at the back illuminates and these handle vents actually go inside so let's say i lock it goes in completely the car is locked if you want to unlock it press the unlock button and the handles pop out it's so the same for all four which is a very nice and a unique feature